Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 130. So guys, this is another Windows 8 episode. So the last two episodes, guys, I show you how to refresh your machine and how to reset your machine. Now it's time to do a custom refresh machine. I mean, sorry, a custom refresh image within your Windows 8. So what this means, remember when we did the refresh, it basically removed all the installation applications that I had. You know, I had Classic Shell, which I already I installed again on this. I have VLC player uh, you most likely you install all kinds of crazy programs but when you do a refresh on the machine it removes everything but it keeps everything that you you installed from the Microsoft Store you don't want to go back go get those files and you don't want to start installing again especially if you like installing Adobe products so I'm gonna show you guys how to create a custom refresh image so I already did it beforehand so I'm gonna show you where I put it best practice I don't recommend putting it into the C drive I do recommend doing it like in a partition uh, as you can see this is my custom refresh dot uh, win file okay it automatically calls it this it's not something that I uh, you know I, I I didn't give this name this is the name that when I ran the commands that I'm gonna show you guys this is what it gave it okay so the whole point that I did I created folder is because I could create multiple custom files so the first thing that you need to do is you want to run your administrative uh, command prompt you want to run the command prompt on an administrative level okay so as you can see I have my little sticky notes on my Mac to I can't remember all these commands so I gotta write these things down so the first command is you want to do RC, RC image forward slash create image give it the location where you want to drop it now I created a folder you can either create the folder so I'm gonna say let's go I don't know uh, BJ images and let's go this one is images too alright this is just for example you don't really need to create this folder automatically the, the REC IMG is gonna create the folder for you you hit enter it's creating a snapshot once it creates a snapshot it's going to create the it's gonna start writing the files and eventually it, it takes a while but eventually it's going to um, create your win file now I'm gonna cancel this if I could cancel it okay So I'm going to let this run for a while and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to start, I'm going to go to computer, I'm going to go to my C drive and as you can see it created the folder for me inside image 2 and it's creating the custom refresh.win. Now once you do that you have to do, once you have your custom image you got to tell Windows 8 when you do the refresh which image should it use. So, I'm going to do a run and a CMD, okay? So once your image is done, you're basically going to tell it REC image forward slash set current and the location of the, of the WIM image. For me, I did custom, custom refresh images backslash images image one okay you hit enter see it's not gonna work because I needed I need uh, administrative privileges to use this command but another command is you RC image show current ah, I gotta run it as an admin so let me see if I can run it as an admin let me go into apps, no oh, programs, Windows systems, right click, run as an admin, yes. And let's run this again. I'm gonna do REC IMG 
forward slash current C uh, custom refresh images for slash backslash image image one operation completed. I do a RC image for slash show current and it's basically going to show me which image is current. As you can see, the path right here is image one. Now I'm going to exit out of this and I'm going to exit out of this, close this up. Again, it's going to take a while for the to image to be written. Once it be once it's written, it starts compressing itself and it drops itself in there. You got to run those two last commands that I showed you guys, and that's it. When you guys uh, go into your PC settings into your control panel and go to general do a refresh, it's going to use that image that you created with all the software already built to it. Believe it or not, it creates a, a WIM file. So for those MDT 2010 and 2012 users, you can actually import that image within your MDT. That would be pretty cool. So that's about it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me thumbs up as well as comments. And at the very top, there is a subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button and get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on hardware and software. And don't forget about gaming. I'll catch you guys later. Thank you.